السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وبارك وسلم أما بعد الحمد لله In tonight's lesson we will discuss about the hereafter, the day of judgment and resurrection. My fellow brothers in Islam, towards the end, the earth, the skies, humans, jinns and the angels will all undoubtedly expire and perish one day. This is, perish means destroyed, finished. So everything, the earth, the skies, humans, jinns and the angels. But the only thing, or I should say the only one, the only one who is forever existing is Almighty Allah. A few signs will appear before the end is to come. Those few signs we will go through. The first is that three earthquakes will appear, will occur. Causing many people to be consumed by the earth. One will occur in the east, one will occur in the west, and one in the Arabian Peninsula. So there will be three earthquakes towards the close time, towards the end, towards Qiyamah, which will be one in the east, one in the west, and one in the Arabian Peninsula. Knowledge, the second is that knowledge will be taken away. In other words, the ulama will pass away from this world very swiftly. This does not mean that the ulama will remain and the knowledge will vanish from their hearts. No, but the ulama themselves. In other words, the ulama will pass away from this world very swiftly. This is the third sign towards the end of the year. The fourth is that there will be an excess of ignorance. As much as not all the signs have started to appear, but few are surely visible. As we can see that ignorance <coughs> is passing or it should it is passing its limits because everyone wants to give an excuse of ignorance. Ignorance means that they do not know ilm, knowledge. But then, the desire of learning is no more there as well, which is keeping the ignorance alive and not killing the ignorance. The fourth sign that adultery will be in abundance <coughs> Like donkeys mate with one another without any shame, there will be no respect and modesty left between the young and the old. Again, there is no respect. The way our women are dressing, the way the mixed gatherings are taking place, where the men are mingling with the women, this is all haram and we find this in abundance. That any wedding, it is very difficult to even convince the parents to have a separate wedding. Ladies and gents, separate, they should be partitioned. It's very difficult. Again, the signs are starting to appear. The fifth sign is that the population of men will decrease and the population of women will increase. There will be only one man for every 50 women. One man. 51. The sixth sign is that with the exception 
We all think that the main Dajjal is to come. But ex- with the exception of the main Dajjal, there will be 30 other Dajjals. There will be one main Dajjal. With the exception, there is going to be 30 more Dajjal. Each of them will claim to be a prophet. Even though the doors of prophet have been sealed. Some of these Dajjals have already gone by. Some of these are gone by, who, are, who have gone by are Musaylam Al-Kazab. There's also Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, which is the most recent one. And those who have still not yet appeared will definitely appear as well. They will claim to be a prophet, but the doors of prophethood have been sealed. There shall be an abundance of wealth, is the seventh sign. The river Euphrates will unveil its treasures, forming mountains of gold. Lush vegetation and orchards will grow in the Arabian desert. Rivers too will flow therein. To remain firm on Islam will be as difficult as holding burning coals in one, one's hand. That's how hard it will be to keep firm on Islam. And indeed, in such times, to keep firm on our aqaid, our belief, and on Islam <coughs> is very difficult. With so much of fitna and so much of mischief being spread in the world. There will be no barakah in time. Meaning time will pass by very swiftly. A year will pass like a month, a month like a week, a week like a day, and a day will pass by as swiftly as something burns rapidly after catching fire. The eleventh one is that people will regard dispensing their zakat a burden. It's going to be very difficult. They'll take it as a difficult task to give their zakat. And I always mention that if we only have to give our zakat properly, there will be no one who will be poor in this world. There's twenty signs, so I'll just quickly go through the remaining nine as well so we'll continue with this topic inshallah what will happen after that people will study people will study the knowledge of deen but not for the purpose of deen and to happen zira ma punjiwa deen Oma chifuwa jake sakara jani dini zikuvega ndarama ha pena kuri bezo chita pena za sowa zo chitira nde basi kongo karira koma chifuniro cha dini zikuoneka kuti ngati ifeyo tikarandi ikhlas Tiko za kukonza dini yatu, ndiposo dunia yatu, ndiposo akhira yatu. Gatita kandijani. Ikhlas. So this is the twelfth sign that people will study the knowledge of deen, but not for the purpose of deen. Men will become subservient to their wives, which is surely something which we see. Children will disobey and disrespect their parents. We see that people will socialize with their friends and shun their fathers. We see that people will shout, raise their voices in the masjid. Music will become common. People will curse their predecessors and address them with disrespect. And how many and Abu Rajan Kumbuyo predecessors? I am Bakunina Zoeba. Sisi Gonega, Mawahabia, Amadijan, and to Akumbuyo, son of Zilia. Eh? And to Akumbuyo, son of Zilia, command to Akumbuyo, son of Zilia. 
Anari anari open zi anari yo sati rajan. Adiri zuvega. Ha? Mawahabi asana yambe tisa na fige ma 1900. Pamene anabwela ndani Abdul Wahab kuchogira ku najdi zuvega. Koma asana bwele aja antu wose amasada za Amasada jani? Ahlu sunna? Kuna ribe zikubirilo zina, zikumvega? Ndiyo nani? Hii kunena kuti antu haya mba kunena zo ipa. Kwa antu wa kumbuyo. Ndiyo mkuona kuti antu haja abwela. Kunena kuti antu haja adayamba bida, majita bida. Muzi angati ya mene... Amajika maulidi panopa asia. Wambiri. Chifuwa antu halo wakuri. Haa zimenezo hai. Zimenezo hai. Chifuwa jani. Wakuri bida. Antu wakumbuye wakunena zo iba kwa antu wakumbuye wamena adayamba gare zimenezo. Tikufika. Mafubi ni jani. Kiyama. Wild animals will converse with humans. The tip of a whip and shoelaces will also speak. They will relate to a person whatever happened in his house while he was at the market. <laughs> and the twentieth one is that disreputable people who once had no clothes or shoes to wear, will boastfully live in huge mansions. Antu amene, anaribe zovara, anaribe sabatu, kumakaira manyumba, waikuru kwa mbiri. Ndiposo, kuone tseta, akari rajani, kuone tseta kwa antu. Zimene zo sikaona so kumalawe. Sinone? He? Sumnaone? Maona? Tepempe kwa Allah. Kutiandikuru kile ngati dala kwa poya nkura kato. Powele ngira. I ask Allah to forgive me if I have made any mistake during the lesson. May Allah guide us to perform our five times salah with jamaat. I make Toba. I ask Allah to accept my Toba for any mistake. Astaghfirullah al-Azim. I ask Allah to keep us firm on the path of the Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And may Allah take us from this world with the Kalima. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Wa ma tufiqi illa billah. Astaghfirullah. Wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaykum.